three, two, one, go. Hi, I'm Howard Lee. I'm so excited that Birds of Prey is going to be out in just a few weeks. This is my 10 minute, 1 minute, 10 second Harley Quinn drawing challenge. Birds of Prey is being described as a girl gang movie set in the DC universe, following Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn take on Gotham City. In the past, Harley Quinn has been defined by her relationship with the Joker. The fantabulous emancipation part of the Birds of Prey title refers to the fact that, like many of us, she wants to forget that Jared Leto's Joker ever even existed. Harley Quinn is breaking free of the past, and this is reflected in the act of cutting away her trademark hairstyle. I'm about a minute and a half into the video, and this new hairstyle has just been marked out with a black brush pen. And I'm starting work on the facial features with the eyes, having already defined where the jawline is and marked out a dark background. I'm using a polychromos black to mark out where the eyes are, the eyebrows, and then move on to define the end of the nose and parts of the jawline and mouth. just 10 minutes, it's a really difficult thing to do, to define not only the character, but also a rough facial likeness of Margot Robbie's portrayal. I've switched pencils now, and I'm using a black charcoal pencil to start to give some shadows and definition to the edges of the hair and sections around the face. A black charcoal pencil is really useful in something like a 10 minute challenge because you can very quickly add some 3D depth and give the illusion of 3D form and quickly blend it with a blending stump or tissue or even your fingers although your fingers don't work so well similarly I'm now using a pink soft pastel and a yellow ochre soft pastel to give a bit of colour and definition to the hairstyle again later on in the drawing I'm going to be blending and smoothing the pastel so that it appears slightly more realistic. Now I'm using a flesh coloured soft pastel to give a small amount of colour to the face. I'm not going to colour the face that much but it's important that it's not completely plain white. I've taken out a rolled paper blender and I'm using it to smooth the charcoal pencil and the soft pastel areas. It's incredibly easy and very quick to create smooth, soft transitions. And once you've got a bit of charcoal or pastel on the blender, you can even use it for drawing, as I've done around the fringe and the edge of the hairstyle. With a fine black pen, I'm now marking out the tattoos on the face, the heart shape, and a suggestion of the word rotten down the side of Harley's face. Once again, black polychromos pencil is very useful for defining the pupil, the heavy makeup on the edge of the eye, and adding a bit more definition to the eyebrow. And even though there's only two and a half minutes left, we're finally starting to see the face in some degree of realism looking at us from a three quarter view. A little bit more blending stump helps us to define the shadow behind the nose and it's on to the Copic marker Lipstick Red. Now that really helps to make the mouth stand out and it's part of Harley Quinn's trademark look. A little bit of black pencil and a little bit of blending around the mouth and the top lip. A little bit of Prismacolor pencil has given us some colour on the iris. We're under the minute mark now, and the Copic airbrush system is gonna help me add a little bit of flesh tone to that face, because it's looking a little washed out. Just 30 seconds now, and there's a bit of a gap because I'm changing the color in the Copic airbrush system. With a cool gray five, I'm spending the last few moments adding some much needed shadows. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is done. Just as soon as I spray there. And there. And one last little bit. Okay, I'm done. Okay, 10 minute Harley Quinn. What do we reckon? Might take the light down slightly more. About there. Relatively good facial likeness, I think, for the character of Harley Quinn, but also for the actress, Margot Robbie. Okay, I'm gonna get rearranged for the one minute. Okay, three, two, one, go. Start. Thirty seconds. Oh, that's the wrong end of the copic. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and <laughs> I don't know what to say about this picture. I mean, it's, it's kind of a bit like the other one, but I was clearly feeling the pressure because that is one hell of a chin actually, isn't it? I think the fact that there's no nose there is making the chin look a lot bigger. But I think if you showed that picture to Margot Robbie and said, hey look, there's this, there's this drawing of you, what do you think? I don't think she would take that as a compliment. So for the 10 seconds, I'm still gonna have the pink there. Let's do pink and black and red. You know, why not? 10 seconds, plenty of time for three different things. Three, two, one, go. Six, five, four, Three, two, one. It's terrible, it's terrible. The only thing that I can say that I like about the 10 seconds, 10 seconds is making the one minute look good. Because even if you were guessing, you might guess that that middle one was Harley Quinn. If someone made you guess which character that was, you might see their hair and you might go, oh, okay, maybe it's Harley Quinn. This one, you wouldn't get it in a million years. So there you have it, the 10 minute, one minute and 10 second Harley Quinn drawing challenge. I wasn't sure at first if the 10 minute was really good enough. It's a little bit sketchy. There's quite a lot of detail missing from the hair. I haven't fully got that new Harley Quinn hairstyle in because from the trailer, we learn that she's hacked and cut away at her hair. That's why it's different from the Harley Quinn that we saw in Suicide Squad in terms of styling. But that, that only comes through a little bit in this drawing. It comes through a little bit here, a little bit around the side. I would have liked more of that to come through. But one minute, it's an all out creep fest. The last one, the 10 seconds, only very vaguely looks like a face. Apparently, I can't even really draw a face now in 10 seconds. I think what you're seeing here is a progression of stress levels. You're seeing in 10 minutes, little bit of stress, but basically can do the drawing. One minute, stressed out now, it turns out squiggly and terrible. 10 seconds, it's just an all, it's just a, ah! All that's left for me to say is thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I passed 450K subs recently and that just, it really blows my mind. I really appreciate every subscribe, every watch, every share, every like. If you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, give it a like, come in the comments, maybe tell us who you think that middle one, that one minute looks like, and yeah, let me know what you thought of the 10 minute drawing. You know, do you agree with me? Do you think it looks like a the character? There isn't a bird to prey quote that I could finish on that wouldn't sound weird coming from me. Um, one, of the, one of the big quotes from the kind of trailer and from the film is, uh, is when Harley Quinn says, get ready ladies. But I can't finish the video on that. 
I can't say until next time. Get ready, ladies. It it just sounds really awful when I say that. Until next time, I'm just gonna say I've had loads of fun doing this challenge. Thank you for watching it with me, and I'll see you in the comments. Let me know what you thought.